are you ready to effectively delegate your social media to your virtual assistant? Now, if they first time on my channel, my name is Lian Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant company here in the Philippines to XU, and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. And when it comes to delegating your social media with your assistant, it can be a little bit tricky. So there's a few things that I'll walk you through to make this process just a little bit easier. Social media management is one of the more easy tasks that your assistant could easily start to take over in your business and I really highly recommend that this is one of the first things that you do however you need to start with number one a plan what is your social media plan don't leave it to your virtual assistant to just plan it all out you need to be the one to create some sort of strategy that works for you and your business yes you can hire a social media agency who can create the strategy create the content all of that but if you're just planning to have it in-house with your virtual assistant it's really good if you start with having your own plan even if it's just rough draft there are six things that you need in the social media plan that I'm gonna run you through. So the first one is what are you posting? What are the pieces of content that you're posting for your business? So for example, for us at 2XU, on what are we posting? It's mostly tips on how to hire and manage a virtual assistant, how to work with a virtual assistant. So that is the what are we posting? This way, this becomes a guide for me and the people who are creating content inside of 2XU that this is, yep, these are the things that we're creating for our audience. Second is where are you actually posting these pieces of content? So for example, for us, we have YouTube first and foremost that turns into a blog post which is shared on our website and then we have also Facebook Instagram and LinkedIn where we post graphic posts shorter version of these videos basically and other types of text posts as well so this is where we are posting so for you and your business this might look different depending on where your target audience is so for example if your target audience is more of the millennials or the newer generation basically you might want to start targeting more on TikTok or on a little bit on Instagram because some of us are still on there but if your target is mostly business owners then targeting on LinkedIn is probably best next is you want to make sure that you go over how often do you want to post some businesses it makes sense that they only post twice a week so social media isn't such as a big part of a system in their business so people post like us at 2xu we create 10 to 20 pieces of content every single week so then it's just a little bit more so it is where we do have a focused virtual assistant just on our social media. The next thing is creating basically your repurpose system. So I've kind of walked you guys through what our repurpose system is, which is basically YouTube, which turns to blog, which turned into graphics basically that we post on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. We grab quote posts, we grab quote posts from other people as well to post as stories. So this is our own repurpose system to make sure to keep bringing people back to the main piece of content, which is this video next is to make sure that you have the clear call to action so call to action for us into xu is to have our people who see the video see our blog post everything else is to go to 2xu.com scorecard since this is a way for us to see who could be potential clients into xu it's also a scorecard basic or assessment for them to see if they're ready for a virtual assistant which of course leads them to booking a call with us at 2xu so that's our call to action what could be your call to action in your business that would lead to either people signing up for the call signing up for a newsletter what is the next step in the social media that the assistant can be leading them into and the last part is basically just systematizing what are the tools that you're going to use now if you're going to be just giving your assistant access to all of your social media accounts this might not be much of a problem but using tools like planable basically or hootsuite or there's a lot of different tools out there that you can use finalizing that within yourself where you can connect all the major social media channels that you're going to be using it's going to be just making your virtual assistant's life a little bit easier now next step is once you have a very draft of what a social media plan looks like for you and your business is you want to go ahead and know what skills you want your assistant to focus on. Now, there's four main things that an assistant can focus on when it comes to managing basically your social media. First one is outreach. So that means that your assistant is just on the lead gen side of looking for potential clients or leads and reaching out to them. Second one is content creation, which is they're going to be the ones in charge of creating the content through tools like Canva maybe, writing up the caption, researching the content itself from basically from start to finish is creating that content for your business. 
The third type of skill that they could be focusing on is just the management side. You might be the one enjoying creating the content. So a lot of what they're doing is just making sure that it's posted, it's up there, it is on the right platforms, it's following the content calendar, or it might be that you've separated out a content executive assistant and a marketing social media assistant. So for example, that's what we've done inside of 2XU. We have two different types of those assistants, so then that one can focus on the other, which also brings us to the fourth type of skill, which is just engagement, is that other assistant could just be focused on going through comments, liking other people's posts, engaging with other people, using your LinkedIn maybe to engage and comment on other people's posts, whatever this looks like, as long as they're creating some sort of engagement going back into your business. So pick from those four, it could be two out of those four or even three out of those four that the assistant is focusing on. So then you can just use that to get your assistant started on as you start delegating the tasks. Next is with your assistant, go ahead and create your content calendar slash tracker. Now I do have a template for you guys through Notion that you can just look at of how we create content for 2XU. It's basically just as simple as what are we posting today and what are the platforms that we want to post it to? Has it been created? Has it been scheduled? And has it been posted? This way we're able to just very quickly see just from a just outside perspective of like, okay, this is what our content calendar looks like. No, where is this at? It's been three days. Why hasn't that been posted? So it's just a very good zoomed out view of where our content is at. It also becomes, like I said, a tracker to see what kind of content we posted that day. So what our content creator assistant would basically go ahead and create is of course the content goes into it. She puts it into our Notion template. And then what our marketing assistant or focuses on is she grabs that content, schedules it on the different types of media, and then goes ahead and actually makes sure that they're actually pushed out. So that's our own process of what we're and has worked for us. A content calendar and a tracker doesn't have to be two separate things. It can be the one thing, as long as there's an accountable way to see what has been posted and what hasn't been. Next is to make sure to start generating or creating templates for them to be able to use. This doesn't have to be you. This could be that you ask your assistant to go ahead and create five to 10 templates for you know, posting on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, maybe even TikTok even, or it could be that they're just generating what your graphics would usually look like depending on your branding kit, on your colors, on your logo, and of course the type of content you guys are creating. This just makes it very easy for your assistant to be able to keep creating content in a consistent way where it looks clean on your social media. Next is essentially having the goal of having your assistant create content for two weeks ahead. And this becomes a one month or two months ahead, but the point of this exercise is for them to always have content ready so they don't have to scramble or try to create the content for today yesterday or tomorrow or be behind on their other tasks is to get them to the point where they are already have the next couple of weeks content up on the calendar so it's ready for posting even scheduled because then this just makes your life and their life a little bit easier and you don't have to keep you know rushing to keep up on creating the content and lastly one of the biggest ways that you can delegate your social media to your assistant is having them just create engagement reports of what were the kind of posts that work really really well what are the posts if you can track it actually led to the call to action what are the posts that you want to keep making again what were fun ones that can contribute into just showing people what are the other side of your business and that's essentially the step by step process of how you can do it it doesn't have to be a big complicated thing when it comes to delegating your social media you just have to start with a little bit of a skeleton and leave it to your assistant to start putting in the meat until you have a whole system on creating your content or your social media fully taken over by your assistant. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below. Have you ever delegated your social media to your assistant? I would love to know and how you did it. Share your tips with others as well. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.